Yeah, I think from our perspective, you know, Coach had, had uh, committed to it first, and, and, and we were approached. Um, you know, from from my perspective, it didn't take long to, to think about it, and, and you know exactly what he said. You know, and I've said this before. I view college for our, our, our players as an opportunity to, to build character, to prepare themselves to to you know make a living for themselves, as well as build memories and. and I, I think our guys are going to walk out of here tomorrow night and, and have a memory they're going to be able to take with them for a lifetime. But probably most importantly, as, as Coach alluded to, uh, their eyes have been opened from the standpoint of, of there is more, you know, what, what are we, a, a billion dollar industry, college basketball. And, you know, for them to understand that we there, there are people fighting for your lives and, and they're going to be in attendance tomorrow night. And, and, and for us, it's it's – our chance to, you know, pay honor to them. Uh, you know, it's funny, uh, Coach Frieder, who's, who's with one of the radio networks, College Basketball Radio or whatever, asked me, he said, what, what's the one thing you're looking for tomorrow night? And I said, well, it's the first game of the year. It'd be hard to pick just one. But I want to see if our guys can function eight out of ten plays because the, the circumstances, the conditions are unique. It's not going to be – like this uh, again, but I, I want to see if they can stay cohesive as a unit. Uh, you know, effort. Uh, you know, rotation-wise, defensively, do we have some semblance of attempting to execute our offense? Uh, those are the things that that I'm looking for. You know, I, I think you forget. You know, I know back when I played and started coaching, we didn't start our season until after Thanksgiving. So you, you're looking at know, two, three more weeks of practice. You always had six weeks to practice. So I think for everybody, Marquette, Notre Dame, and, and both of us, it's still so early for us. And, and there's a lot of things that you can look to evaluate. But, you know, the, the effort, the cohesiveness, those are things that, that I'm going to be looking for. Yeah, I, I will say the one end was a little bit intimidating uh, from the standpoint. I didn't know that it would be that close to the, the edge of the ship. And my first thought was watching us pass the ball in practice Hopefully they'll have some extra ones during the game in case we toss one over the side there. But, um, I, you know, we tried to get our guys today in practice. We went about as hard as we could possibly go in, in the 45 minutes we were a lot. I wanted them to not think about the conditions. Um, I think the one time they looked at me, my what I have of hair was blowing, you know, sideways. They knew things weren't quite the same. But uh, it was it, – it's good. I think that's the beauty of Ohio State. And, you know, you go back to that game last year in December. I remember the players came in at before tip-off, and they're like, Coach, you're not going to believe this. It's like a home game out there. You know, they, they booed South Carolina when they when they took the court. Um, but that, that is the power. I mean, there's we have over 475,000 active alumni around the world, and it's obviously a great base down here in South Carolina. So we're very proud to be back. Well, it is. And, you know, it, it's like I told – uh, some of our big guys, I said, you know, for the last two seasons, the greatest luxury I had as a coach was every time the opponent shot, I knew Jared would get the rebound. And that was, you know, a little bit of a, of a motivational ploy. But uh, you know, I'm very proud of what he's doing right now with the Celtics. And, and uh, you know, it, it'll take me a second. But one thing I've always learned, play the hand you're dealt. You know, I, I don't know. Um, 45 minutes today was probably not enough to, to gauge and, and the winds were gusting up there today in practice. Um, I'm hoping that they're going to be toned down a few knots uh, by game time tomorrow night. He, coach may have a little bit more of a problem playing a 4 o'clock game than, than we do at 7. His may be a little bit warmer than ours at, at uh, 7 o'clock. But, you know, I've, I've told our guys they just shoot the ball. I, I know, you know, Aaron talked to his brother two days ago, I think he said, and, and uh, he is home in nine days. Uh, you know, the ironic thing is, is he left. He was taken off as we were playing Syracuse to go to the Final Four last year. And, uh, you know, for Karen, or Aaron and Kate to uh, be at Ohio State, be a, be a part of this, and, and both playing basketball, I know his mother and father are, you know, elated as, as you can only imagine. And, I said to Aaron out here, I said, you know, I, I told you a lot of things in recruiting. I said, one thing I forgot is you'd play a game on a battleship. I said, are you going to be ready to go? And he says, Coach, look at this place. How could you not be ready to go? And that's Aaron.